The African society is a diverse one with different cultures and traditions. Marriage is an important part of African societies. It has its own set of traditions that are followed and practiced. These practices oftentimes have deeper meanings and significance. Welcome to Afro. In today's video, we will explore some of the most common and unique marriage traditions performed in Africa. Shall we begin? Asking for a girl's hand in marriage is pretty much a common practice around the world, and it is no different from most African cultures, but it does come with a little twist. For some ethnic groups in Ghana, this is known as, which literally translates as knocking. The groom together with his family on a special pre-arranged night knocks on the door of the bride's house. Once they are let in, the prison gives such as wine and colonas to the bride's family. They then announce their intentions and discuss the prospects of joining the two families through marriage. If everything goes well, the bride comes to give her final consent, which most of the time is a yes. Various African communities have different ways of performing a knocking ceremony. In Nigeria, the Yoruba calls it this, which literally means, know me and let me know you. The Agikuyu community in Kenya calls it this. Do tell us how this is called in your country. The engagement. Marriage in most African societies is a union between families, not just two individuals. That's why an engagement ceremony, which is basically a dowry payment ceremony, is very important. Bread price remains a crucial part of African marriages. In the past, bread price was a guarantee that the bride is ready to tear rubber for the first time. It was also a way for the groom to demonstrate that he will be a good provider who will take care of the bride. The ceremony differs slightly from country to country. In Burkina Faso, the Moaga tribe calls it this. On this day, the groom's family goes to the bride's family to offer the negotiated bread price. This can be in the form of livestock, cereals, kitchen utensils, or clothes. Each community in Africa has its own way of celebrating the engagement ceremony. In Kenya, the Agikuyu community calls it, while in South Africa, the Zulus call it marital submission. Just like in the Christian faith, several African communities teach about submission to one's husband. That's why it is a common practice in many African societies to see a bride kneeling before her husband during an African wedding or engagement ceremony. In Burkina Faso, during the traditional engagement ceremony, brides from the Mosi or the Muga ethnic group are given a drink by their younger cousins. The bride is supposed to taste the drink first before offering it to her husband on her knees are similarly shown in this Nigerian one. All hail the queen. While every bride would like to feel like a queen on her wedding day, Eritrean brides actually look and dress like one. Crowns are placed on these African bride and groom's heads as a symbol of their new status as king and queen of their new households. The priest blesses the crowns and then swaps them three times between the couple to seal the union. Dancing at a wedding is a tradition shared across the world. In fact, no marriage ceremony in Africa is ever complete without people getting their groove on at the reception. But in the West African country of Niger, camels do the dancing. <laughs> Money spraying. A popular African wedding tradition, especially in West Africa, is to spray money on the bride while she dances. Of course, only notes are encouraged. You, you can't go hurling coins at people. Older guests are usually the ones throwing the money, but anyone can participate to show their happiness for the people. It is also a basic show of flamboyance and influence and a symbol of prosperous future for the bride and groom. No smiling. For most couples, their wedding day is the happiest day of their lives, that is, if their beaming faces are anything to go by. But that is not the case for these Congolese brides and grooms. 
Marriage is considered a serious affair, including the reception and the photo session, the bride and groom are not allowed to smile. If they did, it will mean they are not serious about the marriage. Fortunately, this practice has died and Congolese weddings these days are full of happiness and smiles. Tasting of the four elements the Yoruba ethnic group, also present in countries like Nigeria, Niger, and Benin, have a wedding tradition called the tasting of the four elements. During that ceremony, the bride and groom get a literal taste of flavors that represent the distinct stages in a marriage. By tasting each of these flavors, the couple symbolically demonstrate that they will be able to overcome everything together. Which of these African marriage traditions are performed in your country? Leave us a comment down there, we share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.